Alright. Welcome. Yo. A cup of honey milk, please. Right away. So, what's the recipe for this? Honey milk. Is there no recipe for this? Alright, well then we're just going to go with my gut instinct and say... Maybe too sweet. Milk, milk, honey. This should be good. Your honey milk is ready. Hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. God, she came in with me. Relax. It's okay. Hey, kitty cat. What are you looking for? Want some milk? Hi, barista. Yes, I'd love some milk. Holy. You look like you've seen a ghost. No, I mean... I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude. It's been a while since the last time I saw a Nekomimi transforming. We rarely do that in public. I guess you don't have that many Nekomimi friends. I won't say I have. You folks usually use your feline form to commute. If I'm not mistaken. That's right. Well, commuting, ca oh, commuting as a cat sounds more practical than commuting as a hum- I mean, than commuting in a bipedal form. Kind of. Anyway, before we continue, can I have my milk, please? Ah, I'm sorry. What kind of milk do you want? Just milk. No additional stuff or anything? Nope. Milk and nothing else. Fresh milk for the lady with the pretty smile. Thank you. Are you hitting on an underage girl? I was just giving her a compliment. Thank you for the compliment. It's really good. You're welcome. What's a young girl like you doing alone this late? I'm not a young girl. I'm a grown-up who can take care of herself. Er... You don't look like a grown-up. What? I'm 18. Yeah, that's exactly what I'd call too young. Well, I'm not an old lady like you for sure. Besides, I've been earning a living since I was 13 years old, so I'm definitely not a kid anymore. How? I'm sure you know. Er, I don't? Oh my, are you? Just say it. If this is something illegal, or if you're in danger, blink twice. Really? With a cute face like mine? Exactly. Seriously, you've never seen me on TV or social media? 
I don't want to sound like a snob, but I don't watch mainstream media. <sighs> snob. Part of the broke but woke movement, I see. You must be the broke part. I didn't. I don't see you ordering any drinks. What? Too broke for a cup of coffee? <laughs> She's not that great for business, no. Oh, really? Sometimes I wonder, could this coffee shop survive without me? What are you waiting for, Grandma? Make your order. Is this some sort of made cafe experiment or something? So, what do you want to order? The usual. Coffee espresso. Or triple espresso. I see this game tests your memory. Your espresso's ready. Good as usual. Glad you liked it. Wait a minute. You do look familiar. Are you in a pop group? Are you Rachel Florencia? The member of Super Smiles who just graduated and started her solo career? Uh huh. You're not a lost cause after all, Grandma. That brings us back to my first question. What the hell are you doing here? Drinking milk. I'm serious. But you can see it with your own eyes, right? I'm really here to drink milk. How come this coffee shop attracts so many weird people? Well, we do have a lot of unusual customers. Well, while we do have a lot of unusual customers, this is the first time we've had a famous celebrity visit. To drink milk, no less. Yay! Achievement unlocked. Oh wow, that's so adorable. They gave me an achievement. That's so cute. Breaking the fourth wall, I see. Yay, achievement unlocked. No, seriously. Why are you here? <sighs> well, you know, the usual young folks' problems. I had a fight with my father. And so, here I am. Ah, I see. But is it okay for a celebrity like you to be out alone this late? You don't need to worry about me. I can turn into a cat. I can turn into a cat. Now I'm really worried. Anyway, what happened? My dad... We got into an argument. He doesn't like my line of work. He always saw my profession as something negative. But I love what I'm doing. What about your mother? What are her thoughts on your career choice? She passed away a few years ago. I'm sorry to hear that. It's alright. Your dad know anything about the entertainment industry? The. I feel like I jumbled those words. Does your dad know anything about the entertainment industry? He used to work in showbiz decades ago. So, yeah, he does know a thing or two. Good evening, Trick. Good evening, girls I've never met before. I just saw you yesterday. Heh. <laughs> just kidding, Freya. Anyway, Drake, 
Yes, officer. I need something for my sore throat. Can I bother you? Can a bro- I keep jumbling these words. Can you get a brother a cup of green tea with lemon and honey? Green tea, lemon, honey. ready. Well, 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 what do we have here? It's my special cough syrup. What do you call it? Er, cough syrup? <laughs> of course you do. Let's see whether this drink tastes as good as it smells. Damn, this is great. How's your day going? Anything out of the ordinary on your patrol? Yeah, anything interesting today? Actually, I witnessed something scary on my shift today. Tell me, tell me. You sure you want to hear it? Yes. The scary thing I witnessed was... My salary. Seriously? Yeah. Today's payday. And I checked the ATM during my shift. Such a horrible sight. Other than that and the labor union protest, everything's fine though. How can you say it's fine? We got a young celebrity lurking around by herself. Ain't that strong proof that this area is safe? Hey. Thank you for the drink and a place to sit. I'm going back now. Oh, thank you for coming. Hope you enjoyed your time. Uh-huh. was that? She just sat there and read. I'm sure that's pretty normal in a coffee shop. I mean, you always do that when you're writing. I guess you're right. Anyway, where were we? Oh yes. What are you doing here, young lady? It's pretty late, you know. I don't really have anywhere else to go. And this place looked cozy. I see. So you basically went to go to a bar, but you're underage, right? Ha how did you know? You can read minds now, old man. I have a daughter around her age. It's easily to it's easy to translate what they say. Especially when you have to deal with them every day. I don't know where you're, why you're here. But everything's gonna be okay. You can forget all of your problems while you're here. Dude, you're a cop. It's not his job to take care of someone else's daughter. He's a cop. That is exactly his job. Relax, Freya. Don't be so uptight. Yeah. Mr. Policeman here made me feel much safer already. You know it, Freya. This place is very safe. Right, Officer Georgie? Of course. This is the safest place around here. Hey, that endorsement comes with a discount. Safety. Oh, I deal with crimes and public safety. 
how should I know how to handle someone else's daughter? You should know. You're a father yourself. Oh, right. Right. Guys, you know I can hear you, right? Really? See, Freya? She has good hearing. Uh, that should help her protect herself. Anyway, Miss... Rachel. Miss Rachel, what brings you here? As I've told the others, I had a fight with my dad. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Me and my daughter fight every day. Hey, why would you say that? Because it's true. I fought a lot with my kids. That's normal. In fact, whenever we finish arguing about something, we become closer as a family. Huh? Because when things have calmed down, I learned something about them. And they learn something about me as well. As long as we don't leave things unresolved, an argument makes things better. But it happens so often. Tonight was just one among countless others. He wasn't like this before. Before it happened. You mean before your solo career? No. Before Mom passed away. What happens after each fight? Um... Nothing. We just don't talk about it. Until another fight starts. Unresolved problems are dangerous. It ain't easy. But you gotta understand each other better. And as much as I hate to admit it, conflict is always the best way to know something. Even your own blood. But it was never this bad when Mom was around. She's the only one who understood me. She also understood your father. Maybe he and your mom also had arguments. But your mom added up acted as a mediator between the two of you. That's... possible. Now that Mom's gone, I don't have anyone to act as my guardian. And your dad... He lost his best negotiator. Wait a second. You said this happened a lot. But why did you run this time? My daughter never ran away. Wait. Maybe it's because I'm the one who always ran away. <laughs> Using my job as an excuse. I can confirm that. Yeah, I run here a lot. But, yeah. I hate to tell you again. You both got to resolve your issues. Unresolved problems are dangerous in any relationship. I kind of understand what you're going through, Rachel. I also ran away when I was younger. Are you on good terms with your parents now? I am. When and how did it happen? To be honest, I'm not even sure myself. It just happened. Maybe I should run away even farther. I mean, I have my own income. I don't need to rely on my dad. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend that. Why? I'm an adult. No adult would ever say, I'm an adult. Just give yourself time to think, Miss Rachel. Try to understand your father's perspective. I'm sure the both of you will come to resolve this, like adults. You don't need to rush to a decision. I'm not sure about that. Just take your time. But now... 
now I would recommend you just go home. It's really late. I need to go home as well. I can give you a ride. But, you don't need to talk to your father right away. Just go straight to your room. At least knowing you're safe at home will give him some peace. That will allow him to think more clearly about everything. You're right. You really are a cop, Georgie. Of course I am. So, where do you live, Miss Rachel? In the western part of Neko Town. Oh. That's... Quite far. You're still going to drive me home, right? Old man. Of course I will. Should I drive you home too, Miss Freya? No, you don't have to. I'm riding my bike. Are you sure? 100% sure. Okay, we'll be off then. Thank you, Trek and Freya. Take care on your way home. See you around, Trek. And there they went. Yes. You can stay longer if you want. Nah, it's fine. I also have to call it a day. How's the writing, by the way? It's getting there. That's nice to hear. I'm juggling a lot of work, though. Barely making my... I barely made my deadlines. I don't know if I can keep this up. Why don't you just come clean? Just tell your boss about the publishing offer. Who knows? Maybe she'll understand. You're right. Great job, Freya. Here, take some money. Go take your vacation and finish your novel. Pfft, in your dreams. I'm not exactly employee of the month. You never know. You never know. I might end up on the chopping block. Oh, the pressure. I'm sure about one thing, though. This coffee shop sure has a lot of stories to tell. So, yeah, I'll probably be back tomorrow. The door's always open for you. <laughs> I bet it is. Okay, then. Take care. Be careful on your way home. Well, that was... Oh, hey, nice. They give us, uh, this must be the next thing on the menu. STMJ. Milk, egg, honey, ginger. Okay, nice. Anyways, that was episode three. I'll, uh, I'll get this and episode two uploaded. Uh, today is... 18th, I believe. Come on. Yep, June 18th. I should have both of these up, put up by June 18th, episode 1 and 2. So, we're just going to get my, uh, my, um, video, uh, game saved, and, yeah. We just gotta make it to starting the day. Man, my voice is raspy. Werewolf activist imprisoned for owning illegal fury sedative. Huh. That's interesting. Okay, well, we are going to save here. And 
make sure the game loads. So, boom, boom. No harm in being thorough. Okay, yep. Well, if you liked what you saw, please uh, give me a follow on Twitch. If you're watching this on YouTube, eh, it's all up to you. But I would appreciate a subscription. And if you want to watch more, well, that's also up to you. Anyways, uh, just gotta get this X'd out, and yeah, see ya.